a unique machine, not that. It's an automatic router. It is also a process that holds farmers and fish in Kenya. The footage is 30% of the cheese to pure conditions such as poor humidity, temperature, poor hygiene. So, how it could solve those problems by automatically their quality and hygiene. And it also does automatic incubation. Link your brother, let me to me. When is it? Tano Sasa. Hache Haina stress kwa sababu ni kuweka tu switch yenyewe na jipotrol tempe jikifika inajikata ikienda low inajiwasha tu so ifaranga zile kwa stress sana Lotus technology help life because you fix to coil it but Uh, welcome uh, to the meeting. I hope you can hear me. Yes. Can anyone respond? Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, I see a response from Daniel. Uh, so I think we'll uh, proceed with our meeting. Uh, my name is Samuel Mangi. I was a former university student. And I'm going to take you through the steps of uh, product development, uh, which is something we have been doing for over the years now. So I'll start sharing my screen and we start over uh, our meeting today. So I'm sorry for that. I'm very new to this software, but I think I'm doing well so far. Uh, I'm going to take you through uh, product development uh, for new products. And mostly I'm going to refer on the product that you have seen on our, uh, on our video, which is, yes? Yes, I can hear Gideon speaking. 
No, so, yeah, so, some, uh, it was not uh, from my end. Uh, maybe probably okay, okay. Uh, uh, I can see your slides are loading. Maybe before they load, uh, we can have the okay. we can have Chris do some intro, and then we can uh, we can pick from there when your slides are uh, visible and uh, everything is doing good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Chris. Uh, Chris, you are waiting for an introduction from you. Chris, are you there? And is everyone seeing my slide now? Because I think we have wasted over 15 minutes now. Yeah, I, I, can, I can see the slides. Okay, okay. So, if you think, I think we can start uh, over. Okay. With the introductions very briefly, because I think, uh, yeah, it's uh, already 15 minutes past five. It okay. So, I think I'll start. Uh, yeah. So, my name is Clifford Oma. I am a second year at Mo University doing electrical electronics. I, I'm part of the smart kiosk project and yeah, I'm looking forward to learn a lot about product development. Well, okay, I think I'll follow. Uh, I'm Christopher Jesse, second year at Moi University, doing electrical and telecoms. I'm also part of the Smart Kibanda team, and I'm looking forward to learning a lot. Hello, my name is Beryl Chabet, fifth year, taking electrical and telecommunications engineering. I'm part of the electrical team, um, the Smart Kibanda. And I'm happy to be here. Hello. I am Newton Kimandi. In the project, I help lead the mechanical structural team. And I'm an engineer who is passionate about products of machine design and the better systems. I'm glad to have some with us. It's a pleasure. So some feel much welcome. And thanks for availing yourself for this event. I'd also like to thank everyone for making to attend this event. Thank you. Hi, my name is Samia. I'm a fourth year chemical and process engineering, and I'm part of the Smart Kibanda, and uh, I'm in the finance team. Yeah, and uh, just uh, excited to learn about project development. So, thank you. Uh, hello, my name is Alan Kimeli. Um, I'm part of the research team. Thank you so much, Sam, for having time to be here with us and uh, everyone for being here with us. Thank you. Kawaso, fifth year. I'm part of the Smart Kibanda team, the electrical team, and I'm eager to learn. Uh, hello, hello everyone. Uh, thank you. So I'm Chris Moremi, I'm part of the team, also a fifth year. I'm uh, more university, part of the Smart Data project. Very uh, honored to have you, Sam, here. Yeah, looking forward to learn from you. Thank you. So I think I will start over. Uh, my name is uh, Samuel Wangi. I was a former Mo University student. Uh, he did mechanical and production engineering. 
uh, I finished uh, 2018 and graduated also the same year. And we started an adventure with uh, my friend Peter. I think he'll join the meeting very soon. And we formed uh, a new product, which we started doing uh, at Moi University. It was an automatic incubator, but also had automatic brooding. It has become a popular product so far. Uh, we have developed it to a point where we have sold uh, over 100 units uh, for the past six months. We have been selling directly to customers and uh, directly to organizations. Yes? Yes, Gedenji. Yes, I am. I am fine, son. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm fine, son. Okay. okay. Yes. So uh, now we have been developing this product. I say now for three years now. So I think you are the best people for this uh, such a topic, product development, because we have learned a lot along the way. So I'm going to take you through a uh, product development is. Uh, is a, it refers to the complete process of taking a product to market, or maybe you can say taking a product. the market needs a uh, cost there are so many factors that uh, are involved in the product development i usually a lot of decision making uh, for example when i look at our product and how far we have come it's a lot of iteration removing this adding this yeah So ideation, uh, so there are steps when you're developing a, a product and I'm going to take you through these steps briefly, where we start from ideation, research, planning, prototyping, sourcing, costing, and now finally you go to commercialization. Ideally, the, you don't have to follow these steps as I have put through because at times you are usually at the sourcing stage and you need to go back to the drawing board and do research, again, do planning. Now from planning, you, you find yourself going back to ideation. So you're usually not limited to follow these uh, steps, usually cast in stone. But now, now ideally you have to, you will find yourself going these steps to finally to pricing your product. So ideation, where we start from, which is now ideation, uh, is where now you come up with the, with the problem, with the idea. So for example, as we came to idea from a problem I, I, I experienced as a, a farmer, when I was you know, I lost chicks out of conditions, I, I was giving the chicks. So I developed a, a program that control all conditions, but can do automatic incubation. So you do a process of formulating this idea, and you come up with this idea from uh, actually uh, looking at the problem. You can either substitute what you have. Maybe you can add an ingredient in a drink. Maybe it's soda. Soda, you add lime, maybe adding lime and ingredient can uh, bring better, better results. You can either combine, for example, as we combine an incubator, which is in the market, but now we added a, a brew down below. So we now have an automatic incubator, but also has a, have an automatic brew down. So that is how you can come up with ideas by, either you can combine whatever is there in the market. And yeah, and yeah. So another process is a, a, a uh, you can adopt uh, whatever is there in the market or even modify. For example, we had cars, but uh, Tesla, uh, they, they brought 
electric cars, they modified whatever was there in the market and made it, they modified uh, the two-stroke engine and made it an electric car, or you can put another use. For example, as we are working on other products, not in to good alone, like for example, we are making a, a blender that can even slice uh, kales, can, can blend juice, as I've said, but can even, uh, even do other things like dicing and cutting chips. So whatever we will be doing in our factory, we are putting it into another use. Whatever, whatever was in the market, we are putting it another use. So you look at the blender. This is a blender, but in Kenya, we, we eat a lot of kale. So what can we do? Let us have a blender that can cut uh, skumawiki and also slice, uh, can slice skumawiki, cabbages, and maybe if I want to do chips, can do dicing for the chips and also can make kachumbari for you. So whatever we are doing, we are looking what is there in the market and seeing how we can modify it to fit whatever you have. So you can get an idea from there. Also, you can eliminate. Maybe you have a product where you uh, eliminate uh, salespeople, uh, middlemen, and you can even reverse or rearrange. Have a T-shirt that is Britain, uh, both sides, that is now rearranging. Whatever is there in the market, you have t-shirts that are one-sided. But if I rearrange and have a, a, a t-shirt that is worn on both sides, so that is a rearranging or a reversing. So, so that's, I'm taking you through on how you come up with, with ideas. So after you come up with the ideas, now you start doing research. A research is usually very important to see if there is a really need in the product. Because I'm telling you from product development, you not only invest money in what you are doing, you also invest emotions, you invest time, you invest, at times you even invest your health, because you, you during the product development, you can go to a place where you, you get depressed because things are not going your way. So before you start doing anything, you should do a lot of, uh, a, a lot of uh, research, but maybe the best one usually taking ideas from your family and friends, which is uh, what you did for us. But now for you people, you can, you, whatever I've had, you're making a smart, the smart kiosk I did. So what you, whatever you do, you have to talk to your family, to people owning those uh, kiosks. Also, uh, tell them what you are doing, see what they think, are they interested in what you are doing? Because you have tools, give people and see uh, your customers are the best creators of your project. So think what they want. Uh, you can even start building funding campaign. You can have people uh, funding your, your product because a person will not fund something that they don't, that they think is not uh, viable in the market. So if you find people funding what you are doing, it means you already have, a, a most of you have a good product. For example, as we have, received a lot of uh, funding from uh, organizations, uh, both local, uh, from investors. So they give you, that process makes you feel you're doing the right thing. And also ask uh, for feedback uh, and also research. You can also do research on market demand, uh, whether your product is uh, uh, good or, yeah, whether what you're making will make, make sense in the market. And also in part of the research uh, process, you also need to go, for example, we are making an agricultural product and me, I've never been in an agricultural class. So I have to do research on how chicks should be raised, the perfect conditions for them, uh, what conditions kills chicks, how will I bring uh, uh, agriculture into engineering and automation. So you have to do research on also such uh, areas. So after that, now you start planning. Uh, planning is also a very important uh, step where now you now identify a production process. And you start thinking, yes, I have this idea. So if I am going to make it from plastic, for example, it means I need an injection molding machine and I need uh, a mold. Uh, that process might be very expensive, but at the end of the day, the product will be very cheap. Uh, for example, we are making, we are starting to make our machine from recycled plastic. 
of course, we are, we invest a lot of money in that. Uh, in labor and the design and time, we might invest up to 1.5 million Kenya shillings. So when you are a startup, that would not be something I would want to do when I'm a startup. I would look for a production process that is very cheap. Uh, for example, for us, we saw uh, manufacturing whatever we have from uh, sheet metal uh, uh, would be very easy because you just need to buy grinders and uh, uh, cutters and uh, welding machines, which are very cheap. So we start, said, okay, we can start with a uh, sheet metal and then go progressing in future, have a vision. So you need to have a, uh, identify the production process. Also, you need to identify the material you're going to use. Some materials are available, others are very expensive. Others will be very costly to work with. So in this process of planning is usually a time of knowing what material to use, is it available, is it, uh, Will you have to import it will be what will be the cost of uh, importing? Also, you need to know uh, suppliers. Is this material available? In fact, in this process of planning, whatever if a material is available, is the best material to use because you use uh, Kenyans will sell you at a very low uh, order quantity compared to importing. Importing people will tell you a thousand pieces, but now when you uh, have finding local suppliers or local of, of doing things be cheaper for you. Also, you need to identify the skills required. Uh, for example, for me, I'm a mechanical engineer, but now to make uh, such an good it means I needed to learn about coding. So either I employ somebody who is doing coding or I learn coding. Whatever was easy for me was to learn. So I learned how to program the system. Also, needed to identify the tools required. We talked about the make uh, our intruder from uh, sheet metal. So I need to buy a grinder, I need to make gives, I need to make, uh, I, need to, I also need to make, uh, I need to make machines for cutting sheet metal very fast, yeah. So I also need to see how whatever I'm doing, how can I test and see its efficacy? Am I, how, I'm going, how am I going to test my product? Am I going to take it to the uh, market without testing it in the, in the workshop that is um, a no, yeah. So after planning, now you go to a uh, uh, prototyping and there's uh, something what most people say that uh, a great idea was once a DIY or a hobby project. Even the computer you have right now was once a DIY project. So a uh, prototyping will involve you being a lot of uh, hand work. And now this is uh, creating your sample of production. Uh, for example, uh, I will show you, uh, a, a three, you have seen the video, you have seen how a machine looks like. I will show you a 3D printed uh, a version of the machine as when it is uh, uh, small in a minute. So I'm, I, I, I will start by 3D printing the machine. For example, the incubator, I will 3D print the incubator, I will 3D print the brooders. I'll see what I need, how things wiring will be done. Uh, so for, this is a process of prototyping, which is now creating the sample for production. Now in the prototyping uh, process, for example, for us, we start with SOLIDWORKS, where we, SOLIDWORKS or Inventor. Uh, well, I remember I have trained some year on uh, Inventor. So we still use Inventor, it's also there, but my business partner also uses uh, SOLIDWORKS, where now we draw the machine, we draw it the way you do it in, in the university where you draw first angle, second angle, third angle, make the 3D concept, 3D print it, see how it looks, do finite element analysis here and there. Yeah, so you need uh, to test the, uh, also after, after doing that, now you test uh, the design. You can never use a, a finite element uh, fee, uh, Finite element method of testing where you can test parts on the software already. It's really interesting in our workshop because uh, before, like for example, last week I was sending a model for manufacturing in, in Nairobi, and uh, this part I had to do finite element analysis first to see if it will be able to handle the loads and everything. So such a process I do it in SolidWorks or Inventor. So I can either 3D print, and after that I 3D print it or fabricate. Uh, for example, as we did 3D printing, where we repeated the part, and then now we fabricated the sheet metal part. 
And then after that, now it needed to do a lot of iteration, change this, change this, put here this, uh, run here. And the problem with most startups is that we spend much time on prototyping, uh, which is a mistake I'm telling you not to make. Uh, if you can uh, prototype your machine very fast, take it to your first customer, let your first customer use the machine uh, or the system or the process, get feedback from the customer is very, very important. So it's usually, it takes you out of your comfort zone and also gives you an idea of what the customer does, the mistake the customer does, which is very important. You learn that customers have a way of using your machine that which you don't know apparently. Whatever you think, the mistakes you think customers will make, will not make, but mistakes you think customers will not make, they will also make. Uh, another thing, uh, so another thing you need to do, uh, sorry about that, I was checking if my laptop is charging. Uh, it's not charging, so somebody will correct that for me. And I think I'll go on, is that is being corrected. I was in a prototyping. So for example, for a machine, I can show you the 3D printed uh, uh, machine. This is uh, now like, for, for example, can be a prototype. We have the data there, then we have the data here. And see the brooders there, even how interior it will look like. So it's very important for you to print your concept and see how it will look like. So this is a process you have to undergo through. You have even the drawers. Okay, the drawers are not here, I think they are not placed. So yeah, this is the process of prototyping first. After you prototype, now you can, if you're able to make your, your machine, you can prototype this and see how it looks like and test your design. And then after that, now you can, uh, iterate your product and maybe fabricate it now to a bigger scale to see it is very important to fabricate with whatever you have fast as you progress and see what you're going to how you're going to do it in the future after that now you go now to the next product the next uh, thing now after you have done your prototype now another question now arises up uh, who is who is the best manufacturer and uh, who will be supplying this part? Because when you're doing prototyping, usually these things are usually much of not of a problem. But now, now economics will now start stepping step in. It. Efficiency of your suppliers start coming in. Uh, timelines of your suppliers start coming in. So you really need to uh, to uh, source and find who is going to supply your uh, product and you realize when you are sourcing also you also need to negotiate for the best prices and also the best quality too and in this process of sourcing you also need to find uh, manufacturers that meet your requirements and but also when you are funny enough when you are looking for manufacturers manufacturers also have their way of doing this it's very very funny and they will tell you i will not be able to produce this uh, so you need to change one, two, three things here. Yeah. For example, when, you, when we are making our bones, whatever, during the prototyping time, uh, we would make bones uh, in our lab. Uh, but now, we, we cannot, it's usually not efficient for you to make bones in the lab. Uh, it takes a lot of time, inefficient. So we had to look for a manufacturer who can assemble the bones for us. Uh, so in that process, you find now the manufacturer will give you a notebook of what they can do and what they cannot do. So literally, you had uh, we had to change our design to meet the manufacturing needs. Yeah, because if you find you are too customized, your price cost of manufacturing will go will skyrocket. So you really need to go to the market, see what is there, what is standard, and how you go, how you are going to use the standard in the market. Uh, to work for you. Don't, a lot of customization, we really, really discourage a lot of customization. If we can use uh, 
a product that is standard in the market at the time. Also, in this process of, uh, of sourcing, this is something I'm telling you is a very big secret. You need to prove uh, and check uh, your suppliers. So you have to look at their process, their, uh, at their profiles, ability, certification, and online reviews. Please do not uh, miss that steps, especially uh, suppliers from overseas, because if you if you have a uh, suppliers who have poor ability, maybe they take so long to manufacture, they have a poor customer service, it will be a problem for you. You also need to look at their certification. Are they ISO certified? We try to ask for these certifications. Uh, uh, do they, there are this, for example, for us, whenever you order, order from a company, ROHS is very important for you to produce certification. You also need to have certificate of export. You also have to look at your ability. How long have you done this? Is it five years, 10 years? Uh, if, if you have done this for less than one year, I may not source for you, for you because I'll be maybe a little bit afraid. Uh, so I need to look at the online reviews. How what are people saying about this company? So in online reviews, are very tricky. If you find a, a, a manufacturer who is getting five over five, do not buy those uh, reviews are fake. But if you have a custom and a supplier who has out of ten reviews. Two are bad. That is a perfect review because nobody is perfect. Even my product is also not perfect. I have customers who are unhappy, and also I have customers who are also happy with my product. So you cannot all be happy. Even iPhone has people who give it bad reviews. Yeah. So you have to check your suppliers. After that, now you determine the, the costing. Determine how much it costs to uh, make your uh, your product. Uh, uh, maybe you can start with uh, how much it will cost you to prototype in cost in stage and mass uh, produce. So determine your selling price from this. After that, you also need to determine your selling price and compare to what your competitors are selling us. And also, you also need to to uh, determine your your profits. How much money you be making? This because at the end of the day, you are in uh, a profit. You are a profit making a uh, business. So I, I think I have a problem with the power. I'll need to migrate to another uh, building. And I think I'm going to stop uh, my video a little bit uh, for around uh, three minutes and then I'll be back. Yeah. Yeah, so we go forward, which is now the final process, is which is surely very important, is commercialization. And in a uh, commercialization process, you actually need uh, a team to assist you with this process. Uh, you need technicians, you need uh, accountants, you need uh, marketers, you need human resource. And also, I forgot to put there, you can be a management team. Very important, you cannot do without these guys. You can't do without accountants. Accountants, if you don't do without uh, accountants, you'll have a, a problem with, uh, if you don't do with a problem with the KRA, 
technicians of course you all know you need technicians to make your product i heard you have a, a very physical product and uh, now you need a uh, marketers people who will do marketing for you and also human resources so it means you need the people from a uh, all uh, all fields but you can start splitting the, these roles when maybe a technician can also be a marketer when you are starting a business or also technicians can also be a human resource but as you grow your business, you need to you need to split out these uh, these uh, roles. Also, uh, during this uh, commercialization process, you also need to do a lot of uh, advertisement. Uh, that is that includes uh, uh, sending your uh, product launch to email subscribers, for example. Or people of interest. Also, you also need to work with influencers if you can have, uh, or or also an affiliate marketing, and get your product featured in gift guides uh, magazines. It's very important. You need to invite the people of the media there. Uh, for uh, uh, usually a fast on new product that people keep talking about it. So you need to take advantage of that. That. Uh, media attention that you have and make uh, and use the media to your own advantage also you can enable things like instagram shopping uh, run chat marketing campaigns and you can even get reviews from our customers these are very important i tell your customers to send you messages go to your website give sincere comments that helps in during uh, the commercialization and stage of your of your, of your product yeah so i think we have uh, like 15 minutes i think we have uh, 15 minutes and So next, I'm going to ask for uh, questions and interactions from uh, the participants. Uh, I think I also stop sharing my screen. Is that my first time using this uh, software? So I hope you enjoyed the session. So next, I'm going to uh, the next session is going to be much of interaction where I let you ask questions and and give uh, comments uh, we have 15 minutes and then uh, we wind up yeah so questions comments yeah also you need to know your product i need one of you to tell me about your product which seems very interesting and tell me where you are in the prototyping stage don't be afraid to go to uh, the deep, uh, engineering aspect of it uh, i'm also an engineer so i'm going to i think uh you includes one of you who is going to describe to me about your product uh, in detail? Yeah. Um. Thank you very much, Sam. I hope you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Maybe you can stop sharing. I share something. Um. Uh. Before I make my comments, and then we we have someone to. Um. Have you stopped sharing? Yeah, I have stopped sharing. Okay, uh, so let me. Uh, I don't know why it's telling me. Okay, fine. Um, so, Yes, Kivinji. Kivinji, are you still there? Yeah, 
Idinji, are you there? Hello, I guess I can also not hear from Muziyongi. Ah, so I think uh, I don't know what he was sharing, but I, I'd requested if I can hear much about your product. Maybe give an insight of what you can do to uh, until you reach commercialization stage. Yeah. So I think somebody will take me through. One of you. Oh, oh okay. So maybe you can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I hope I'm audible from your side. Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. Uh, so this is Chris. Uh, uh, our project is named uh, Smart Kibada. Uh, Kibada is a Swahili name for many people who may not uh, not Kenyan, but the English name is the Smart Kiosk. So we wanted to okay. bring a product that is uh, is going to solve the problem that uh, uh, mostly encountered in the in the informal phase actually in uh, mostly in Kenya because that was our research scope. So we went okay. to 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 the field. Uh, that our uh, main focus was the Mamamboga. Uh, we tried okay. to come up with some of the uh, problem they are facing. Uh, that is uh, food wastages. Uh, there is okay. uh, Lack of power because those uh, uh, local kiosks are not connected to electricity, uh, so oh. they cannot. Uh, there is no security, uh, no lighting, so lack of food for our working economy. Also, we wanted to to, to have a, a system that is favorable for uh, weather and climatic conditions. So we ended up uh, coming with this idea to develop a smart one uh, that is mm. going to use solar power. Uh, to be able to provide lighting systems that is enable mama kibanda ama mama even uh, at night uh, because most most of them uh, will close uh, in the evening hours. Uh, you will that. Then uh, we also have sensors and monitoring system that uh, will improve the conditioning unit of the system that uh, the person within there can feel comfortable at uh, during the. The, the, the rain season during the hot season, so mm. bring that aspect. We also bring uh, a, a way of uh, trying to extend the shelf life of the product because most of them sell fruit and vegetables. So we are coming up with a, a system that will let them uh, maybe lengthen the the, 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 the the shelf life of this product, the vegetables and fruit. That means if the, the lifespan of the vegetables and fruit is extended for, we say for five days, uh, means the this mama kibanda uh, mama mboga will be able to sell the pro, uh, the produce uh, mm -hmm. almost all the produce meaning uh, more 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 profit yeah so mm -hmm. basically mm -hmm. in uh, our project we are we are we are we are two months uh, two months into our project we have uh, done a lot on the on the on the planning phase and the research phase. Now this mm -hmm. month and next month uh, we'll be beginning our uh, uh, we are we are doing our design. Then we'll be going to our mm -hmm. development. Uh, our project is funded by IEEE Act, so we have a time limit. So maybe mm -hmm. the prototype mm -hmm. part uh, uh, is much. Uh, I don't think it's much conducive to us uh, because we have mm -hmm. to have a product by the end of April. So mm -hmm. we we are thinking maybe uh, after. After we do the designs, now we can be able to outsource because most of us are, are students, except with the engine with our team. And uh, we, we, we also are struggling with our classwork. So you are thinking uh, of outsourcing someone, uh, giving him our designs, someone who is, as you said, someone reliable, uh, who is be able to, to do some of mostly the structure of then will come up uh, and do the, the other part there. The, 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 the smart part now the sensors part because most of us are like programs yeah so basically that is a product we look uh, one uh, maybe improving the life of this number but then uh, maybe having an uh, audience to live uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah i get the point uh, so i am seeing you have to make uh, a structure of some sort yeah yeah uh, yeah, yeah so uh, so there is a uh, making the structure and then there is a uh, automation. So what whatever we do here, uh, uh, we 
we like yes our products to have as much features as possible but i would really advise you you can categorize uh, your features and say which features are much more important and you can maybe uh, make a profit whatever the first machine will be the first uh, kiosk you'll be making will be your prototype so apparently your prototype looks like your product uh, but now you cannot uh, uh, we cannot do this without going to the prototype stage so it may i think your first product is your prototype so whatever you'll be doing uh, i think uh, if you can be able to uh, uh, if you can have all features that you are saying the better but you, you maybe you can uh, put your features uh, as you can have the features put in an order you say we need these features number one number two number three number four so feature number one is the most important number two is the second most important so maybe feature number one will be you will need a structure so that's uh, the first feature you need and maybe the second feature you need i think i have heard of putting should be a big problem here so the second uh, feature that you need to work as quickly as possible is cooling. So you can make sure you have this feature, uh, putting much of, of your time in feature number two. And now after achieving feature number two working properly, you can go to feature number three, which is maybe I have had you need to control the conditions where the, uh, uh, the, uh, the shopkeeper, let me call, uh, call them a shopkeeper you need to have the good conditions uh, so i think there that one can be the third feature maybe the second but i think because we really don't have a, a problem of uh, temperatures in kenya that can be a third uh, feature that you do so if you have feature one and feature two it means you can start selling your product as soon as after april as now when you start selling your product after april uh, it means uh, in uh, March, uh, uh, May, June, July, you can do automate the conditions for now the customer and maybe link uh, your shopkeeper to suppliers, very important. A link, uh, have a, a system of linking all your shops. At the end of the day, you need people to, you need to make money. So, but I don't think uh, from what I can see, you are a machine, it might be very expensive to purchase so what you have you may have a model where you need to pay slowly uh, like the way we do for m copa it works for them some culture do the same thing it works for them where so you can have systems where for pricing and paying your product where customers can be paying monthly maybe a hundred a thousand shillings thirty thousand a month yeah you have a system if you don't pay it automatically shuts off your, your shop. So you need to have these features because at the end of the day, you have to think how you are going to uh, make uh, money from this. So I've also heard you are using solar panels. So I think you need to uh, categorize your activities and say what features are good and work for those features yeah, as soon as possible. So any other question we have less than five minutes? Hello, Sam. I hope you can hear me. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yes, can hear you. Yeah. You have to share something yeah, on your screen. What the problem is, huh? Maybe what I can say is uh, th there is really quite a lot of potential in uh, in what these guys uh, are doing in this pro project. Yeah. But maybe something else that I'd like to mention is uh, this is a, a, a more of a humanitarian project. So oh, it's not... Okay, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. th there is nothing like costing, there is nothing like payment, there is nothing oh, like oh, selling okay. uh, or anything. Okay. And uh, okay, okay. the most important thing, remember, uh, everybody okay. in the team is uh, is a student, except yeah, from yeah. Uh, my side. And I'm only coming in uh, as a support, to, uh, as a lead of the project, because again, okay. IEEE projects, uh, students cannot lead. Okay. Uh... One and number two, uh, it's uh, it's all about probably the smartness, the iteration, uh, the prototype ah. stage of where you are doing 3D and all that. Uh, yeah. Probably when we look at these, uh, 
the, the student may not really have the luxury of uh, maybe let's say three prototypes or five prototypes and then they yeah. this is a six months project and uh, they uh, need to deliver as soon as possible so yeah. those are some of the things that probably could be um, a, a challenge to them but maybe from what you've uh, shared with them and from what you've built from uh, 2016 I believe uh, they, they, they've learned something. And uh, also it's all about uh, now understanding what uh, the core point that you've shared. Uh, it's all about now the team understanding what is really important. You really need to define your features so well. You really need to understand uh, whether you are outsourcing, maybe you, 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 you do the, the due diligence to make sure whoever yeah. is coming on board and whoever you are giving the tenders, there are people who yeah. will really enable you to 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 deliver your product in in a timely manner and also in a quality manner so that's all yeah. that i can say but maybe something else that i like to mention to so many people who have joined here is uh, I, I think alan kimeli and beryl understands where that product uh, in, uh, in uh, the product you are building came from i remember yeah. back in 2017 while we were in in sea houses while yeah. we are wiring that uh, product and then from the expo now you took the product outside and uh, you build a company out of it and uh, i was yeah. there in moi in december uh, for three days workshop where we are doing product development trying to understand yeah. everything as a whole yeah and yeah. Uh, and i think that the mindset that i challenged uh, everybody to have is uh, not to do the academia way you know the academia way is uh, you either get the marks or you, yeah. you either get the certificate and then you are good to go. I challenge them to do the industry way where you, 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 you not only learn things in class and then you leave them there, but you learn things in class, you challenge yourself and also look for ways into which you can take whatever you are doing uh, in school and maybe make a company. Yeah, yeah, it's very important. Yeah. Uh, Sam, I'm really grateful that uh, you've joined us and uh, yeah, yeah. and also accepting uh, our request to to share all that uh, vast knowledge and experience and everything. Maybe probably yeah. you can you can uh, you, you... Yeah. the next minute of how the journey has been okay. the actual journey now apart from the the, the slides journey. Uh, yeah, uh, what I can say, uh, uh, first I, I can say uh, this uh, idea uh, is very good, uh, but I think you can, the team can look at how you can commercialize the idea. Because there was uh, somebody who was doing such a thing, but they were on layoffs then, and they have sold so many units of whatever you are making around Kenya. So if you are serious on this idea, you can make a lot of money from it, because I know of a person who makes some money from from this uh, uh, this uh, project. Uh, whatever you're doing is very important. So yeah, after I to poi funding, you can source other funding and start thinking of how you can commercialize the product, which is good. People will buy. Yeah, the journey is usually very tough. I can't uh, say I can't. Uh, the journey is usually very tricky. You will think you know these these changes you have to unlearn so many things you learned in school uh, customers <coughs> customers uh, have a way of uh, doing your project of using your machine you do a lot of iteration some customers will not believe in what you are doing others will call you different names uh, in the process of uh, making your product that people will be angry at you so I can't say the journey is as uh, easy as uh, people see. Uh, people don't tell you the other side of entrepreneurship or making the product. But at the end of the day, I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it. Uh, I don't think, uh, I can say the amount of money I have made from uh, whatever I'm doing is, uh, I'm doing 10 times more, that, more money than that I would have made just from, uh, I would have made if I was employed.
in a particular company. So that is the reward you get. There are also a lot of character development. And you, whenever you are an entrepreneur and you're making wings, you find you're more confident. Uh, you also get to meet with uh, uh, great people, uh, great minds, you get to travel a lot, which is uh, now the plus of entrepreneurship training. So I can see, I can, can see, yeah, I, I can see a photo there, a photo taken back. Oh, yeah. Bideji, you can see that photo. See where we started from. Yeah, yeah, it's very important for them to see. Yeah. But I want them to come to reach where we are. I can ask. I see there are so many questions in the chat area. Uh, where I get my mechanism, I may not be able to answer these uh, uh, questions, but I think you can directly send direct messages to me. I think Avenger, I am done. Uh, and thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. It's a privilege. I knew you had so many people to talk about this, but you chose us uh, and our company and our team. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I saw Samia was here. I was training Samia on Inventor. I also have heard of, uh, I've forgotten the day. Uh, yeah, I think it's very good. I, I told them if you able to do this in your first year, you will get somewhere very fast and I can see very familiar names. I think when I look at, I know, I know, I know Kimeli. In fact, Kimeli is even in the, in the process, in the, in the photos there. Yeah, Leila, I know Leila, yeah. So yeah, I am happy with you guys. Uh, it was a good journey. Whoever came back along the way, uh, uh, I think you are doing yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. Um, so I think this question, so I think thank you for the questions. You can give out my, I think I'll give out my, contact and for the questions you can directly send me these questions uh, via whatsapp yeah that is my contact ask questions i see on your Kali sourcing mechanism processors i'll answer those all those questions yeah. eventually i give you now time to uh, close the meeting so what's our uh some uh, yeah. And uh, thank you very much. I, I felt it's very important uh, to to dig deep into my databases and uh, try to see uh, where we started. And I think Kimeli and Beryl, uh, those were the ones we, I think they, at that time they were in first year, if I'm not wrong. And you can yeah, see Kimeli. Kimeli, you were Kimeli smoothing. <laughs> He was the <laughs> shaman boy. We can call him the shaman boy, taking things here, there. But I know now he's good at whatever he's doing. Yeah. And then he was yeah. curious on what he's doing. But I know now he's the one doing it. I hope so. And Brill, I can see you, this lady. You call her name. I can see her in the photos. Beryl. Yeah, Beryl. Yes. Yeah, Beryl. I was looking for that name. I can see Beryl. She's so, in the team. Yes, she's also in the team. Ah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So, uh, so guys, uh, this is uh, this is at some point the beauty of uh, what I was telling you. Uh, you build things from a level, and I think bringing some here uh, really gives you confidence that uh, you don't need to build a, a perfect product the first time while you are in school. Uh, and also, you don't really need, uh, from the entrepreneurship journey, you don't really need to, to be the smartest, you don't really need to be the, the, the fastest, you don't really need have, uh, all that moment is uh, to conceptualize the knowledge, uh, to conceptualize the idea and uh, learn in the process and be willing to take the shots. And, and then, uh, by the end of the day, you will tell the story. And uh, That is why he tells Kimeli and Beryl that uh, uh, you being in school uh, and taking that journey, it's, it's really worth it. And you being part of this project also, 
uh, it really speaks volume because uh, so many people have mentored you and uh, you, you are also needed at least to, to, re, to, to return the favor. Mentor someone else uh, like what Sam is doing here and probably uh, the success of this project may can end up bearing uh, entrepreneurs or even 10 or 20 or 50 more products from this team alone. That's all what I can say. Say, please let the Chris team from the students take over. Uh, okay, thank you. Thank you, Mujiungi. And thank you very much, Sam. Uh, that was an interesting and very informative session. Really appreciate you coming. Uh, coming. So, don't know if anyone has any burning question. I see you gave your number. Uh, maybe they, uh, they can direct questions through that on WhatsApp. But we even one has any burning, I would give two minutes. Uh, I'll, I'll say one minute, then maybe you go to close. Uh, I don't know if anyone has any burning. I feel you cannot uh, leave without a question being answered. Yeah, so thank you very much. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Uh, we, we are only eight minutes past six, so we started late. Uh, that was an interesting one. I really appreciate you all for coming in and joining this training. I hope it was uh, of value to you. So if there is nothing else uh, I'd like to do close this meeting, I'll give a question. Thank you very much and have a good uh, evening or night or morning from wherever you're joining from. Good day ahead. Thank you.